rain in the air. Mother helped us bring in the hay before it was too late. She was working in one corner of the field and I was working in the other. On the third day, we saw her fall back. He over, so to speak. Call out to my father and I rang for her. My father knelt down beside her and he knew she was dying. Said an act of contrition and to worry her and he asked God to forgive all her sins. He looked at me and he said, Fetch a priest. Fetch a priest. And I said, Let's bring the hay in first. My father looked at me with tears of pride in his eyes. He knew I'd look after the land. And if you think I'm going to face my mother in heaven or in hell without that field, you have another thing coming by. No color, uniform, or weapon will protect the man that stands in my way. The law. Yeah. This is law, boy. The auction's tomorrow. I'll see you there. I'm asking you, for the last time, hold oh, your family. That field is mine. All right. Later, I had to write 
knowledge, not everything in all this field. You know too bloody much. I know how to look after myself. The street man is a stout. Other. Oh, we were told about Joe. <laughs> You're aware there's an objection here? So I'm told. What do you want to say, is, huh? That's none of your business. He's going to make concrete blocks. He's going to cover the field with concrete. But what about the rest? What about my lovely heifers? No more bibles on here. You're lying, you son of a bitch. No, what can I see the field? Stay away from that field! That's cattle of ours there. If the field is for auction, I am entitled to have a look at it. You shall. Get out while you are clean. I'll be back when you open in the morning. And this time, I'll be with my solicitor. You might be back with more than your solicitor. <coughs> Turn around and go home. Who the hell do you think you are? I have as much right to be here as you. I'm telling you for the last time. Turn around and go home. I am legally entitled to look at this field. I you want your son of mort that you leave Carrick Clarmond first thing in the morning and never set foot here again. Your son of mort. Don't you threaten me. Do as you're told or your wife will annoy you when she sees you. And I'm not fooling you, boy. For God's sake, get out of my way. Jesus! Your son of mort. Come on. Your son of mort that you quit Carrick Clarmond and never come back. Go, oh, come on. Have a bit of sense. Come on. Pass if you're able. Come on! If you fancy yourself! You won't go with me into assaulting you. A good night's sleep, and you might see things a bit clearer. Ah! Hold him, Faith! Hold him! Ah! 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 Down the fire, no. Grab yourself an egg roll. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. What at me, hmm? See, I think you're too scared to be. I'm sitting out here ready to negotiate, and you've already given up your shit. I'm still a mystery to you. But I know exactly where your white ass is coming from. So if I say to you, I ask you to sit down, you start to chow down, I say to myself, this motherfucker. He's carrying on like he ain't got a care in the world. Who knows? Maybe he don't. Maybe he's such a bad motherfucker. He just sit down, chow down, and watch my motherfucking TV. See? You ain't even sat down yet. 
Since you came into this room, over that television set over there, there's a woman with her breastuses hanging out. And you ain't even bothered to look. You've just been clocking me. Now, I know I'm pretty, but I ain't as pretty as a couple of titties. <laughs> <laughs> I insist I don't negotiate. What's the amount of bloke? It's my peace of mind. My peace of mind is worth that much, not one penny more. It's empty. <laughs> Marty, you know what we got here? Motherfucking Charlie Bronson. All right, look at you, Charlie. <laughs> Marty, you done fucked up again. What the fuck? Letting this bullshit into my house. You must have thought it was white boy day. It ain't white boy day, is it? No, boss, it ain't white boy day. Oh, fuck. Let's see what we got here. Clarence Swirly? Sounds like a nigga name. Apartment 3B West 54th Street. You know something? I make a million dollar bet that Alabama's at that same address. Marty, go get the car. Bring a dumbass back here. I think I'll keep Lover Boy here entertained. <coughs> Marty, I say get to go get the fucking car, man. Hey, Come on, man. Take comfort in the fact that you never had a choice. Look, I'd like to help you, but I haven't seen Clarence. Ah, oh, shit! Fuck! Smart, doesn't it? And slime in the nose. Fucks you all up. You get that pain shooting through your brain, your eyes fill up with water. That ain't any kind of fun, but what we got off you, that's as good as it's ever gonna get. And it might not get that good again. We talked to your neighbors. They said they saw a Cadillac. Purple Cadillac. Clarence's purple Cadillac parked outside your trailer. Mr. Worley, have you seen your son? I've seen him. I can't be sure about how much he told you, so in case you're in the dark about any of this, let me shed some light. Huh? <laughs> so, if that's a fact, tell me. Am I lying? I haven't killed anybody since 1984. Go to this comedian's son's apartment. Come back with something that tells me where that asshole went. So as I can wipe this egg off my face. Fix this fucked up family for good. Someone is stealing from me. What's this one called anyway? Uh, it's a sequel to Body Bag, but we don't have a name for it yet. What is Joe like? Uh, Body Bags too. That's an imaginative. It's got more taste than my penis. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's really fucking funny. <laughs> Said to me, Clarence, that is the most accurate Vietnam film I've ever seen. You know, Clarence, 
When veterans in that bullshit war say that about my project, it makes the whole thing seem worthwhile. <laughs> There's still you, my friend. I'm calling you my friend. I only just met you. You know why? I think we got the same address. You know what I'd like to do right now? I'd like to see Dr. Zhivago. <laughs> well, where is it? Is there a fucking doctor in the house or what? Hang on a second. Lee, when you see this, you are gonna shit! Fucking better. Bingo! Any trust you? Yeah, we grew up together. But Clarence, if you don't know shit, then why does he think you can sell it? I bullshitted him. You bullshitted him. <laughs> Hello, this kid! You bullshitted him! Oh, 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 we're gonna get this guy from you. Awesome. You bullshitted him. Or he's getting the money. Jesus Christ. Get the son of a bitch. Alright. Is there a problem? Oh, no, no. Alright. Okay. We got Mari, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm driving. I'm driving. Where, where the fuck did he come from? I don't know, he just appeared like that. But don't just sit there, shoot him, get him! <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Ritchie. Uh, thank you. I'm very impressed. Uh, th thank you. You're a very fine actor. We'll let you know. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, thanks. Th thank you.